What's up, guys? It's Middle Age Gamer playing uh, Ship Simulator Extremes. And as you know, if you've been following the videos at all, we're playing the campaign Greenpeace Missions. And as you can see, we're on number eight called Defending Our Oceans. Um, tags is action, difficulty says it's medium, and the start environment is going to be the Antarctic. Uh, which is fine with me and it says a cargo vessel is scheduled to supply the whaling fleet We need to investigate and gather information about this ship. So let's go ahead and get on into it All right Says deploy a rib and sell in between the cargo vessel and the factory or the welling factory vessel. So let's go ahead and deploy our rib real quick to this side. Let's get on it. And I like the uh, view from inside myself. Let's go ahead and get over there. I got to sail in between these two boats right here, which is what I'm going to do. It says take pictures of the vessels, so let's go ahead and get the camera out. Uno. So we've got to return the rib to the Esperanza. Let's go ahead and do that. Very nice visuals here. Research ship my ass. We all know what the hell they're doing. Let's get back on board to the Esperanza. Beautiful rainbow over there. And await our next instructions. Okay. And let's get that rib back on. There we go. The rib's now back on board. And now it says start sailing back in the direction of Sydney. Let's get go ahead and plot our course here. I guess it's just to the left over there. So I'm just going to make a couple little markers here. And it says we're not safe yet. The weller will probably chase us. Oh, we got to get going. Big time. Yeah, we do have a uh, ship chasing us. It's not good. It says don't make sure that ship catches us, which uh, not a good start. It's already hitting us. think we'll be okay. Haven't lost the mission yet, which is a good sign. Whoa, come on. Straighten out, baby. Straighten out. Looks like we're already pulling ground on them, which is good. Oh, we're going back right, which I don't want to do. Alright, 
Looks like we're pretty much in the clear. Which is a good thing. Don't think I'm going to speed the video up right here just because it looks like we're pretty close to getting into the harbor already. Again, I don't agree with the map switching when you're out in the middle of nowhere, but if that's what the game wants to do, that's what the game wants to do. I'd prefer, even if it takes three hours, to be able to sail all the way back into port. That would be my uh, personal preference. I'm just going to follow these checkpoints and watch out for the uh, upcoming icebergs, which I don't, which I don't think I'm going to hit either way. Checking the radar here. Alright, so it looks like it's loading back into the port of Sydney, is what I'm hoping. And then hopefully we can just go and dock it and be done with this mission. I guess we'll find out here in a second. Okay, let me figure out what's going on. Let this load up real quick. So we're in Sydney, it looks like. I'm assuming, yeah, Sydney Harbor. And I gotta go to the top here. I'm gonna go around Fort Denison. And it's gonna be quite a long journey because usually we start at the Opera House. And go ahead and plot 10 coordinates there. And let's go ahead and uh, get going here. And I am going to go ahead and fast forward this for you guys. Again, it's going to be a pretty pretty good journey on my part. And I'll talk to you guys here in a minute once I get closer to the dock. Okay, looks like we're getting uh, to the harbor where we can go ahead and dock. And as you can see, it's pretty, lots of detailing around us. Got parking lots, bridges, the sun setting. I mean, it looks really, really, really nice. Okay, and probably gonna have to start slowing down here in a minute. Doing about 14 knots right now, and um, let's go ahead and slow it down right about now. Yeah. 
And I believe we've got a dock at the second pier up here on the left hand side if I remember right. Hopefully. Yep. Okay. We gotta slow down a little bit too much right there. Take our time getting in here. And then we'll use the uh, thruster to move the front end around once we get a little bit, a little bit closer up here. Do about eight knots. Uh, just bring it back down to seven or six. Now let's get this thing started here. Gonna put that on. And it's still going way too fast. I'm gonna try to reverse it just a little bit. And you can see the front end's turning right when you have the thruster on the right, just real slowly, which is what we want. Put that back at zero. And we've got to move forward a little bit, get ready to more. bringing that front end around here. Get a little bit closer. Hoping we're at the right dock. I think we are. Not sure why nothing's showing up. I know this hasn't updated, which is not a good sign at all. There we go. So succeeded without having to attach to the dock there. It says excellent job you've got enough footage to show the media and we got two points to special three points to motorboat look at that motorboat huh and then two points towards the green piece last time was uh, just over 20 minutes and let's go ahead and watch the reward and it's called defending our oceans movie here we go again uh, thank you for watching the middle Age gamer for another ship simulator extremes video and I'll have plenty more coming to you here shortly
the last two weeks, Greenpeace has stopped your fleet from killing whales in the Southern Ocean Whale Sanctuary. We've done so peacefully and without posing any threat to you or your crew. We believe that you are here under orders from Tokyo not to let anyone witness your fake science program. Each of you on board your ship must ask yourself why, if there's nothing wrong with your science program, do you need to hide from public scrutiny and run away from legitimate peaceful protest?